All right, since I do requests on Fridays, someone commented I should do more Matt Rose videos. So here we are. I'm going to be reacting to Reddit's stupidest arguments. Thing about Reddit is you better be right about what you're talking about or else people will come out of nowhere and grill your ass. And it's like unwarranted too. And you just know these are things that people would never, those types of people would never say in real life. That's Reddit. That's the culture of Reddit. And here we are. Okay, so I'm just going to react to Reddit's stupidest arguments. What's the stupidest argument you've ever gotten into? I asked this question mid-argument with my girlfriend in order to vent. Fighting with my brother about which fruit would win if they were sentient and could fight. <laughs> uh... I mean, obviously pineapple. Well, except coconut would kick his ass. Uh... uh have you seen a dragon fruit? Yeah, before? dragon fruit. I was about to say dragon fruit. is no great fruit. Great fruit in many languages. Duh! Duh! Fruit that could I mean, How would you even fight back? But keep oh, no, the Oh, it keeps going. swearing us all like grapes. Oh my god. Well, it's like a little purple gang. Who doesn't love an utterly pointless argument? I just recently spent an evening debating <laughs> with my mum because she swore the guy from 127 hours didn't just cut his arm off, but eat it as well. Never and saw of that course, movie. to see what dumb quarrels have been occupying others, where else to look but our old friend Reddit. If you listen to an audiobook, can you say you've read the book? That shower thought escalated to an argument that <laughs> oh, escalated <God. laughs> to sleeping on the couch. Twelve man screaming match in a dorm room over correct way to wipe your ass. I once got into an argument that escalated to a physical fight over whether Garfield thinks or talks. The difference Garf, like the between cat? a windshield and a window. Is it? Jesus Christ, people, <laughs> I'm not talking about their goddamn function. I'm talking about what the fuck it's called. Yeah, all windows shield from the wind. So do the ones in your house, but you don't call those windshields, do you? Oh my do God. you? Oh Can my a God. lightsaber cut through Superman? I had actual science, technology, engineering, and math friends post essays on my for Facebook real? arguing I don't about think this. So, it lasted huh? for a week of just arguing. The only thing that could kill Superman is kryptonite, to my knowledge. So, no. About do you eat or drink soup on whether snakes have chins? They fucking do too, Kyle! I once argued with someone about whether rain was blue or not. If Bob the Builder deserved to be that famous, I still say he never does anything, just as his tools do all the work. He's more like Bob the Foreman. Word. That itch is not a verb, it's a noun. If you have an itch, you scratch it, not <laughs> itch it. People still I'd say stay a while, but I'm itching to get going. Wrecked! I got in a fist fight over the number of ba 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 sounds Elton John makes in. <laughs> Someone tried to fight with me over how to spell my name. My ex what? and I got into a very, very heated debate about if you put icing on a muffin, then it's a cupcake. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Nah. We're still friends six plus years later, and every time someone mentions muffin stroke cupcakes around us, we just <laughs> death stare each other. Is the No, you can't put icing on a muffin and call it a cupcake. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Yes, blue and black, or white and fuck white and off gold. with that. Me and my group of friends have this argument on what's the best way to stack rhinos. Is a fence a wall? What? We still haven't come to an agreement if treasure maps and road maps are in the same category. That'd be a misclassification. <laughs> Christ, you lot will argue over anything. Oh I once got God. into an argument with my college roommate about whether Aladdin should be angry when Jasmine kissed Jafar to distract him at the end of the movie. Oh. We were too... College age well, look men yelling at each other in the middle of a bar. <laughs> For some reason, it just got so heated. It only ended when my friend left the bar. You know that you. First of all, I don't think Aladdin should be angry because look at the outcome. Look, happily ever after, right? Um, second, that reminds me of that funny m video that was going around on Twitter. <laughs> that guy was like. <laughs> I think it, they were yelling about C Cinderella? No. I can't remember, but it was so funny. It was so funny. And it circulated for a while. I'm, I'm still mad thinking about it. I think the dumbest argument I've ever been in was, uh, is 
Ice wet. Are you naked if you're wearing socks? Which Star Wars movie was the sandiest? No. How important does someone have to be for their murder to be called an assassination? I once argued with a girlfriend about whether or not we were going to have an argument. Oh argued with X about how to pronounce the word egg. How the fuck do you mispronounce egg? Egg! Me and my friends oh my. still argue about this. <laughs> what is the correct term for a Mars bar when you only have one? I I'll tell you what it's not. Marba! How do you pronounce <laughs> this word? Like the G in gigantic. You fucker. I'm going to read you the second line of this post first. We were both nine and neither of us were right. Whether the people who were trying to hitch a ride were called hijackers or hike hitchers. I wasn't actually part of the argument, but two people I know hike spent hitchers. a good three hours arguing about whether a pony could ride a horse. Whether sandals are considered on the shoes, side, yeah. whether a fish can swim through snow whether or not albert einstein or arnold schwarzenegger no. a fish could not swim through swim through snow do i know that as a fact no but i'm just assume, like picture it try and picture a, sw a fish swimming through snow no be more useful to have around during a zombie apocalypse H how on earth would albert einstein come in handy i had an ongoing argument for months about whether rocks a stupid or not. I mean, that is a ridiculous argument. How can, how did anyone come up with a valid argument against rocks having literally no brain? Yes, yes, exactly that, exactly. They don't have a brain, so they can't be stupid because they lack the ability to oh be my smart. God. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. I remember when I was about 13, my parents had an hour long shouting match. Then you could say that's the same thing for any inanimate object. Bro. that ended with them almost getting divorced. The issue, whether or not the nation of Iraq has a coastline. My friend and I got into a huge fight over the question, how deep can a pan get before it becomes a pot? Ooh. It took a half hour before we realized what we were arguing <laughs> Wait, about. I pan know. has one handle, pot has two. I definitely have pots with one handle. Oh shit, <laughs> shit indeed. <laughs> Here we go again. I always thought a pan has the long handle and pots had no handle or two looped handles. No handle? I was a cooking an expert, yeah? Never seen a pot with two handles in my life. It's a first Google image for pot. Have you ever been in a kitchen? Because once sauce becomes soup, obviously. But if you make soup in a saucepan, is it still soup? Would sauce in a soup pan become soup? Oh pan my, is square, oh pot is circle. What well, this? Three inches is sauté pan, four inches is a pot. What is three and a half inches? What is it, a bloody... bloody jacuzzi, yeah? For bloody jacuzzi, for bloody guinea, guinea pigs. Every pan is a pot, not every pot is a pan. And you have it backwards though, every pot every... is a pan, no. not every pan. No. Is... Wait, every pan? No. No, I think that's the other way around. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Every pot is a pan, not every pan is a pot. A pot. Get wrecked! You saying I cook my baked beans in a fucking pan, you daft wanker? If you can't boil an egg in it, it's not a pot, you jackass! Well, I'm too lazy to check what other people have said, but once the height of the pan is more than one third of the radius of the bottom, it is a pot not a pan. The source, the US Air Force cooking school. It was the dumbest test question I had to answer, so I'll remember it forever. Finally! Well, that's that settled. How curved could a frying pan be before it becomes a wok? Oh, God! <laughs> Stop. Oh my God. A lot to unpack, but I would say every pot is a pan. If we had to go there, if we had to have this argument, I would say every pot is a pan. If you're still wearing socks, you're not naked because you have an article of clothing on now it depends what you think naked is the subject of nakedivity <laughs> naked is like completely unclothed to me but if it's like the socially acceptable naked is like covering your uh, private parts that's what i'm going with oh my god so much happening in that video but yeah <laughs> if you have any uh requests you'd like me to react to comment below i do that on fridays but yeah I see another video. You can subscribe and post all the time.